Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. Um, I wanted to jump on here and kind of give you guys an update. Today we had infusion number five. Got five down, five, no, seven to go. Crap. I can't even count. Seven to go. Oh well, it's fine. I can't count. I was excited. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, it, it's fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> um, so I did five today, and I kind of want to talk to y'all about the power of the tongue. It is, um, Power of a Tongue is the Book of Bear. So, my original um, nurse came to get me. Um, I got there a little early. They called me back there a little bit early, which was actually to my advantage. Um, I was just trying to honestly get in the front so I could get on in there and get on out because I had decided that it was to my advantage to try to, especially if I'm not feeling that bad, to go ahead and work the second half of my day because I was taking the entire day off and I was taking it off but not necessarily needing it. So I was like, let me go ahead and work the second half of the day. So if nothing else, I earn eight hours of sick leave a month that will take up two of the four that I have to use for chemo, right? So I didn't want to run out of time. FMLA will definitely save my job, but I don't want to run out of time because if they don't have any time, I have to take any time off. So well, while I'm feeling good, let me go ahead and do that. All right, so that was that. So um, so I got there. They called me on back. And I was telling the young lady, and I don't know, a couple of videos back. <clears throat> Excuse me. My second, <clears throat> sorry, y'all. My second um, visit, and remember she told me that, you know, she admired my me being so positive. So I hadn't seen her since that time. So three and four, I didn't see her. So anyway, she called me back. I was excited to see her. So, if you remember, three, I don't even know if I told y'all this. Okay, so, the first infusion, second infusion, everything was fine. The They got blood return, did the um, chemo, everything was fine from the port, okay? Third, and, third infusion, new young lady, very sweet, but she was getting a poor blood return, so we had to lay down. We swish, we swash, we did saline, we did heparin, we did. It. And so finally it was enough to flow, but it was, you know, and so she mentioned to me, hey, if we have this problem again, you might want to ask them to go up a size in the needle. Well, of course, I don't want that, but okay. So anyway, she was number four and I said, hey, you told me to remind you. And so she did the four. I don't know what, I mean, not the four. She did the one inch. I don't know what I told her to do that for. We'll not tell anybody else, right? Okay. So we did the one inch needle. It was a little bit more invasive, but still tolerable considering that, you know, it could have been intravenously. So, it, it, you know, whatever. But it stuck out too far. So she didn't document the one inch because it, she knew that it, you know, it stuck out too far. Okay. So then, um, today, see number, you know, number one, two nurse. And I was like, yeah, girl, I was like looking for you because <laughs> this, 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 and this happened and it was a mess. <laughs> so she was like, oh my gosh. And so she sticks me <laughs> and there's no blood return none no blood return and I was like oh my god did I scare you or <laughs> something I maybe I shouldn't have said anything she was like no sometimes it just happens well it just happened for two and a half hours 
two and a half hours. Uh, yep, two and a half hours of sitting there waiting for them to get a blood return. They did heparin. I know I did one, two, two things of heparin, possibly three. I don't know how much saline. So, of course, I have to pee like a what? a jackrabbit because they shooting it right into, into my system. Oh, and anybody knows I'm a germaphobe. So literally I take my own seat covers. I, I'm glove. It's just a mess. So sat there, sat there, but I was like, you know what? I just refuse devil to allow you to have my mind. I just refuse. So they were like, Miss Fields, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. And I kind of chuckled because I was, I'd be doggone. I'd be doggone Satan. If you get ready to steal my joy today, I came in here. I was happy. I was had a little anxiety, but I worked through it. Got there on time. I was like, well, actually ahead of time. And so I was just like, I'm good. Hmm, yeah. All right. I got you. You ain't got me, but I got you. I'm going to need you to go to the back because I'm not getting ready to fool up with you. So the assistant, um, physician's assistant came in. We did everything. They had to draw. Okay, so she repoked me. No, she brought somebody else in. And the lady was like, okay, if it's okay with you, I would rather restick you myself so I know exactly what's, you know, because coming in behind somebody else sometimes is a little bit more. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Hand up, hand down, breathe, cough. I ain't heard nobody in the last two years tell them to cough on purpose. I, I just ain't heard it. So I just knew I was like, okay, <laughs> she ain't playing. So we went on, went on, went on. So she, finally she was like, oh, we're going to have to take your blood. I said, so if the port, I don't know if it's blocked or so does that mean that the chemo won't go in because y'all can't get the blood out? She was like, no, it was just more so we didn't want to do intravenous um, to draw your blood to do your medicine if we didn't have to, if we could get it through there. But she said, but we need a good blood flow before we start chemo. So I said, okay. So we, you know, she gets my blood blood work is fine thank god and they do say like i said saline sick then they come in and i don't know what this drug was called but for her to give me layman's terms it was drano for a port okay whatever so like i said the physician's assistant came in she was like you know going over my um Side effects from last week, never had fatigue. I ended up finding a YouTuber um, that does R&B and hip hop and mostly R&B, old school R&B for seniors. I, I'm technically a senior. I, it's baffling to me, but I'm technically a senior. Um, and I needed his senior moves. But I, when I went to the doctor last week, she was like, let's find us something that is not weather bearing. So if it rains or whatever, you have a backup. But I literally did at least 15 to 20 minutes every day and never had any fatigue, really didn't have any side effects. Um, still have a little bit of blood in my mucus, but that's just we did the neti pot. She told me to get that. And an AYR, I guess it's air, um, to coat my nose. It's just gel saline. Saline? Yeah, saline. Um, and using the humidifier. Um, still skin drying out. Y'all already know my hair is coming out. I'm still, y'all can see it's getting thin right here. Um, and I don't know if it looks thinner because it's graying and y'all know I'm not I'm used to having so much color in my hair it's just um so I can't tell but it's definitely my edges is gone gone edges is gone yeah so I tried to do the head wraps not my thing 
Um, so I just got me some more thinner beanies. And we're going to rock it. It is what it is. If I'm having concerns about people looking at me with the bald head, and I'm not saying that I won't get there, but um, then I'm going to cover it up until I feel comfortable or I'm going to cover it up the entire time. I'm not getting ready to put myself through any undue stress. So we're going to rock a beanie. Every beanie color they got, I got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. What else? So what else, what else, what else, what else, what else joint? I was sitting here this weekend. I was reorganizing, giving a little facelift to my closet. And I had gotten a um, shoe rack off of Amazon and it had an Allen wrench. And my fingers locked up. Let me show you. My fingers look like this right here. And they wouldn't move. Literally, wouldn't move, couldn't move them. Save my soul. Now, a foolish thing would go ahead and stop, but no, I massaged it out and kept doing the island wrench. They locked up again, uh, massaged them again, and hadn't had any more problems. So, I don't know. Whatever I get, normally I only get it one time and then I don't get it no more. I don't know. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to take everything you give me. Um, no fatigue, no nausea. No diarrhea, no constipation. Um, been doing the coconut water. It evidently is helping with my number. So let me um, do that every time I can get a chance. Um, dry mouth. It is real. Uh, loss of taste. It is real. However... I think it's wiping my palate clean because I, when I was cutting up my strawberries to go in my water last week, I, you know, just put a strawberry in my mouth and it was like the first time I had ever tasted a strawberry. Oh my God, the thing was so delightful on my palate. It was just, oh, so I don't know. So maybe it will work to my advantage. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Those are the main things, which is dry mouth. I haven't got any sores in my mouth, thank God. I've been using the biotin, um, that, and then the mucus. The neti pot is quite interesting. Yeah, the neti pot is quite interesting. It goes completely through your sinuses and washes it out. But it gets everything out. But it's just that dried mucus just gets stuck in my nose and starts to hurt. And there's so much TMI, but... Not to hurt, but it blocks my nasal passages. So, <sighs> anyway. I'm trying to think of what else. Needless to say, I did not let Satan win. Needless to say, it took me it ta taught me a very good lesson about um, making sure you're very uh, aware of what you're putting out into the atmosphere because he's listening. And he will use it against you if he can. And I just refused to not allow that to happen. However, he kept going. So I am sitting. I um, only had two, you know, my pre-drugs and two um, other chemo drugs today. So I didn't have the third one, which was wonderful. Um, but then Brie calls. Now, we are already down to two cars. Kiana's car is still, don't get me started, being fixed. Um, and then Brie calls and says she gets it in a car accident. So now we're down to one car. Thank God she's okay. The car is not. It's pretty smashed up. I don't necessarily know if they'll toll it, but it's pretty smashed up. Um, so there you have it. Once again, I chuckled. Brianna, you're okay. We can get another car. Can I get another you? It's fine. It is what it is. I just refuse. I refuse to let you have me. Um, 
I refuse. So, been a good day. I still came in here, um, still listening to my body. I could not do more than 10 minutes of the little R&B thing, and I was fine with that. At least I did something. Um, I know that it's going to, um, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to overtire myself. It is what it is. I have to, I say that a lot. Um, I have to be mindful of my body. Um, yeah, I have to be mindful of my body. So, um, a couple of things that I am going to do myself for you all. Um, a couple of nonprofits that I want to talk about. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm probably will combine them. Um, unless it's too much information for one or the other, because both of these organizations are completely, utterly amazing. And I want to shout them out because they have come into my life. And I didn't know they were coming into my life, but they have brought such a compassion is the word that comes to mind. And I just, I, I, anything that I can do to shed light on them, I want to do, um, because they completely deserve it. Um, so anyway, um, Two nonprofits. So I think probably uh, that might be a bonus. Um, we'll see. Might be a bonus um, video because I, I definitely think they are worth it. Um, I'll look once we do the video. I'll link their information, but I want to share it with you guys, uh, especially if you are into uh, you know giving back to to um, organizations that are helping others. And or if perfect situation for you to give to somebody if you know that they're getting ready to go through chemo. Okay, so we'll talk about that. I am going to go ahead and do my cancer story from start to finish or start to now um, or close to now. Um, I want to do that. And... Um, if you guys want to hear anything else that maybe I haven't um, thought about, let me know. I do want to do what's in my chemo bag. It has slendered down a lot. I promise you I have gone through one, two, three, two bags and one pulley, dolly. Yeah. And now I just carry them in because... Yeah, I overpacked. It's the Girl Scout in me. Excuse me. So, yeah, so those are the next three videos other than the updates. Um, I think I'm going to just keep the updates to, and if it's something that, um, like, happens then i'll jump on and let y'all know but in all honesty i haven't had enough side effects to even tell y'all about them which is a blessing so y'all keep praying keep leaving comments down 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 below uh, i try to make sure that i answer everybody um yeah i don't know i'm blessed Highly favored. Um, oh. There have been. I've been posting on my. <laughs> on my Facebook. I don't use Instagram like other people use Instagram. I just don't use it the way everybody else does. I, I honestly. I don't think about Instagram. Um, maybe because I'm old school. And I just use. You know. Use Facebook. But anyway. But. On the first of every month, I post who has gotten a mammogram, scheduled a mammogram, or did a self-exam. And I make sure that I get those youngins in there because 
you know, the, the ages are getting younger and younger as far as different cancers. So I want them to make sure that they're doing their monthly breast exams. Y'all, it's so many people saying, I did, I did it, I um, made my appointment, I just got my, my mammogram last week. And I literally sat and just cried because I knew that that was my assignment. I told y'all, and I guess that's another thing I need to do is to maybe do a video about my assignment and how I knew what my assignment was immediately. And also the lessons that I knew that he wanted to teach me um, because I have a little bit of a hard head. I don't know if y'all noticed that yet, but I do. So, uh, yeah, so there you have it. But people sending me their um, clearance letters, people telling me I got my mammogram, T people telling me I was scared to go get mine, but because I heard your story, it is the most exhilarating thing I have ever in my entire life felt. It is a high that I cannot explain. It is an honor. It is a humbling experience. I am so elated that these people are getting letters back saying that they do not have cancer. They do not have any masses. They do not have anything they need to look at any further. Congratulations. We'll see you next year. That is the best feeling in the entire world. I cannot if even explain it. And I, I feel so honored that he chose me to be able to spread the word, you know, I, you know, I got less than a thousand people on Facebook, but I can't, I, oh y'all, it just warms my heart. But anyway, so that's it. I don't know if I need to jump on here. I will, if it's just something crazy, I will. But other than that, y'all, I really don't have any thing to tell y'all. Um, and I don't want to just take up space. I want to give you some good stuff. So until next time, butterflies, I love you.